Hi chums, right this video is not about gardening or potato reveals, it's about wood turning. I'm going to recommend a channel which is something I don't often do and talk about a particular gouge. So if you're not into wood turning, um, turn off now because this is going to be all wood turning. So to see if you the bother with that, I'll warn you in advance. So the first part is going to be a little look around the workshop because I know that there are a couple of people who have never seen this before. So I'm just going to do a quick pan around um, and show what I've got and then I'll do the video proper. So we'll cut that in a minute. Okay, so this is the workshop. It's an old um, concrete garage that was poured in using shuttering. You can see here, you can see the layers where it went in. You know, so um, those walls are like, it's just the hardest things ever because they used river gravel in the concrete and it's hard stuff. Cause every time you drill in, your drill goes in then goes like this and this, you know. But anyway, this is the old part of it and it's about 25 feet by 15. And then what happened then was there was an old, there was a boathouse at this part of it. You can see that there's an exit, an exit here. I'm right beside Loch Ness, so these people did a bit of fishing. So there's a boathouse here, which I knocked down because it was too dangerous, but they still had a concrete base. So then I got that extended and the mates built me this wood turning shop. So um, it's about, I think it's about 15 feet by 16 feet, or thereabouts, but it's about 18 feet by 16. 18 by 16. Whatever it is, it's good enough size. So I'm going to show you the lathes first and what I've got. So the very first lathe I bought was this one here. It's a jet. Um, 1444 and it's a really good lathe. Now the only problem with it was you can see here it used to have um, Reeves drive on it and you can see there that's where the part of the mechanism was that's where the start on off button was and then the, the, the drive thing was in here I can't get that out it was just a round hole there and it was a handle that you turned to get the speeds but the problem was they get clunky and they stick and they get dirty and you're always cleaning at them. So my mate Kieran's an engineer and he put um, an inverter and a three-phase motor on it. So it turned a very good lathe into an excellent lathe. So I'm very happy with that lathe. Then my friend Michael was selling up. He was quitting wood turning and he had a, this lathe here. It's a Jet 30, 3520B, the Parmatic lathe in America. And well, he made me buy it basically because he gave me a super price and treated me very well indeed. So I bought it and it's a super lathe as well. And then at Christmas one year, some money burning a hole in my pocket. So I bought this little jet here and to my shame, I've had it about three years and I've turned it on once to make sure it was working. The idea is it's for pens and will be dedicated to pens, but I've been setting this up. I also been dealing with health issues, so that was part of the problem. But I didn't get using it. So, um, the mates then put these tool boards up for me, and those are a great job altogether because it's just so accessible. But I'm not going to fill them up with tools just for the sake of filling them up. I'm going to wait until I need a space. I need to put something in a space, and that, that's where it'll go. Okay, so they'll be filled eventually, but not right now. So there's lots of stuff here. I keep everything covered up. You can see the sander thing there. And all. I keep most of the stuff covered up because it gets damp in here. Because it's an old shed. This part's not too bad, but uh, the other part is really awful. So that's where we are. So I'm going to start the video proper now. Right, this is the ninth. I said eight last night to, to Shay. This is the ninth time I've started doing this video. And I've had, I lost all my video clips last night for some reason. I had audio but no images. But the, I could see myself on this screen, but whatever happened, I got new images when I downloaded the things into the computer. So we start again. So it's about this tool here, Continental Spindle Gouge. Now, channel recommendation. I found a guy called BB Turning, a channel called BB Turning. A gentleman called Shay, who's in County Kerry in Ireland. I'm in County Armagh, so County Kerry is about 260 miles away. They put that in Irish terms. That's the other side of the universe. If I decide to drive to Kerry, I'm going to get all the clothes that I own in the car, and a couple of sleeping bags and loads of food just in case, and flasks and another couple of sleeping bags and at least three spare tires 
And there'll be a whole trailer full of stuff as well, because that's a 260 miles, it's a long, long way. So, there's a big journey. <laughs> it gets worse than that, actually. Um, perspective, it's all about perspective. The Isle of Man between Ireland and England is 33 miles by 13, and my son worked there for a number of years. And he lived in a place called Castletown, which was eight miles from the capital, Douglas. And one Saturday, he drove eight miles into Douglas to get something. And then later on in the afternoon, he went back to get something else. And when he went into work on Monday, he was the talk of the place for a week because he had driven to Douglas twice in one day, the leg of which had never been heard of before. So <laughs> it's all about where you live, folks. You know, I remember when I worked in Canada, I was driving south from Edmonton towards Calgary, and I realized that I could drive the whole way to Argentina, and that blew my mind. I, I couldn't even conceive what that meant, you know. It was just way out of my sense of experience or proportion, you know. So, anyway, Shays and Kerry, okay? Now, I was watching him doing some videos, and he was using this gouge here. It's a, it's a, a continental spindle gouge. Now, the problem with this gouge is that I couldn't sharpen it. Okay, it's not the problem with the guys, it's the problem with me actually. So I asked Shay, could you show me how you sharpen your continental spindle guys because I have loads of facets in mine. And he very kindly put a video up showing exactly what he did. So I'm going to show you what I did and then what, how he solved my problem. Right, so this is the Sorby Pro Edge, a super, super machine. Um, it gives you a flat grind rather than a hollow grind you get from wheels. But I asked an instructor one time who's a professional turner was his, was his trade. What's the difference between a flat grind and a hollow grind? And he went, Ugh, it's a feeling. And they both do the same job. So this makes it easy for me to sharpen. It's a very good system. But the problem is this. We tip by put a light on your sharpener because we see the difference this makes. Okay. So, you sharpen this at 60 degrees, and that's absolutely grand as long as the chisel's in that position. But then the problems start when you go over here, because I'm starting to lose the cutting edge now. So in order to sharpen that, I have to lift the gouge. And it's the same when I come this direction, I have to lift the gouge again to get it to sharpen. And that was giving me loads of facets and a very poor cutting edge. So I asked Shay to help. And he showed me on his Wolverine system what to do. Now the Wolverine system and the Sorby system is basically the same, only the belts are different. One's one back wheel and one's a belt. So this is the jig for the Sorby system. And Shay was had a bit of bad luck. He had to make one of these for his spindle roughing a spindle continental spindle gouge, but watch this. Okay, what's that there like? So it works really well. Now I'm just going to move you down a wee bit here. I need to get you over to there, right? So what I do then is I use 45. Now I don't know if I give a 45 degree angle or not, but I have all my ball gouges and spindle gouges at that distance. So it just means everything's the same basically. And that's it done. And then I can come back to this again, back to the belts. This is just to save me the bother of having to change things around. Now, when you get the saw machine, you get this boss with it here. And the problem with that one is that this distance here is not enough. When you're doing, imagine that's a spindle gouge. It's not enough to get a proper grind back there, and you can see why. Look what's happened to the edge of the gouge. The edge of it, you see where it's all ground down there? That's because I'm grinding against the belt there to try and get the left side of the gouge. So what Sorby did was then, they brought this version out here. And if you look at them together, you can see. You can get them. There's the, that's the holes lined up now, where are we? You can see there that they both, they're both the same, except this one here has, what's wrong? I'm having trouble getting the getting my hands matched up because of the angle of the screen there it is so you can see that they're both the same length and then you've got two extra holes and the hole that i use now 
is the middle hole and that gets me away and everything. So using that, I just stick it on there, stick this boy in here, and then I can grind this. I'll just show you how easy it is. So, And that's it now. Everybody ground this so it's sharp, you know. But as you can see, the bevel is really, really nice on that now compared to what it was. That was completely covered in facets like a diamond ring, you know. So, thank you, Shay. That was you, you're, a, you're a real star helping me out with that because I have been wanting to use a continental spindle gouge for many years, but I couldn't get the thing sharpened right. And then I saw somebody who had actually got the thing worked out and lo and behold, didn't he sharpen me out, no problem. So that was great. Now, Shay's channel is called BB Turning and I will put a link. Here. There's, a, there's a mirror image thing going on here. So I'm gonna go here for the right hand side of the screen because I have the screen turned over. I'll put a link up here or it'll let it be down there for BB Turning. Now. This is the bacon soda channel, okay, which I do all my general gardening and stuff on and some wood turning. I also have another channel called BMAC Wood Turning, so I'll put a link to that up here or down here and down here, but do both. And I have loads of videos, I have a lot of videos now as well. Now there's about 35 or 40 videos I think on this channel. I tried to move those over to BMAC Wood Turning, but I had to download them and re-upload them. But this was a long number of years ago, and the problem then was that it, YouTube recognized the video as being exactly the same length as the previous one I deleted on another channel, so it, it blocked it. It was, it was some, some complication happened. Now that doesn't happen now, but apparently YouTube, YouTube hates videos being replicated. You can do the same video and take one second off it, and they're happy. But if you put them up exactly the same, they don't like it. It must be something to do with their computer things or something, you know. But anyway. I have this other channel, BMAC Wood Turning, and that's where most of my wood turning will be done now. I've got a lot of projects in my mind to do, and I've got, I'm getting set up here with this lathe over here for doing camera work at it. It's hard with the one against the wall, but with this, uh, the big lathe here, I can get in close enough. So I'm going to do more projects there, okay? So, I give Shay a go, you know, good guy. He explains everything he's doing and why he's doing it, and that's a goal for experienced turner, new turners and experienced turners. I've been turning about 15 years and I'm learning stuff every time I turn on one of his videos. So uh, he's bringing about 30 years experience to it. So give him a go. And Shay, just thanks very much. You pulled me out of a big hole there. Okay, all the best now. Bye bye. And thank you very much for watching. Hi chums. Okay, before we start here, this is not about potato reveals or gardening or anything else. It's about wood turning and it's about recommending a channel and a, also a tool. Okay, I'm going to do this again because I don't like it.